Hi, so I had a couple questions um, email me. A couple people email me a couple questions, and one of them was regarding the difference between microvilli and um, cilia. So they're both pretty much the same thing. I mean, not the same thing. They look the same. They both have little hair like projections on it, like this. Um, I believe microvilli, no, cilia is the Latin word for eyelashes. Basically the difference is, is that cilia, if you can imagine, <clears throat> is in your throat and in your lungs. And it functions in taking the mucus out of your lungs and your throat. So um, it takes foreign substances out. So it, they actually literally move everything up. So that's why when you get really sick, you get really flummy. Um, microvilli are in your small intestines. And so their function, just for an example, and their function is to increase surface area. If you can imagine, in your small intestines, that's where all of your um, absorption of nutrients goes on. So the more surface area that you have, the more nutrients that you'll be able to digest. And so that's the main function. I just kind of wanted to look at it real fast. Um, let's find the picture. So here we see cilia on the pseudo-certified columnar epithelium. Um, you just basically have to remember which one is on which epithelia. Um, so just remember that cilia is on pseudo-certified columnar epithelium. It's all a fact of memorization, I think. I also wanted to talk about a couple other things from these slides. Um, here's some, some transitional epithelium. I just wanted to, like, just kind of help you differentiate between this and this, the stratified squamous epithelium. If you can notice, um, the nucleus, the nuclei, sorry, the nuclei on the transitional epithelium is completely circular. Like, they're around, they're spherical, there's no de deformity or anything. Um, the top cells are kind of almond shaped and they are more, they're, they're bigger and longer. If you can imagine, um, transitional epithelium is in stretchy places like your stomach. And the shapes of the cells help it to, to stretch when you eat or stretch when, you're, like, when your stomach's empty. And so um, that's the main function of tr transitional epithelium. It kind of looks really bubbly and interesting, but um, just notice, again, that the nuclei are completely circular, and um, that's something that can get really confused with. Um, I'll edit this part out, I think. Now, if you notice on the um, the stratified squamous epithelium, you can see that the nuclei are circular in the bottom, but as it gets more to the top, they get squished and deformed. That's how you can tell the difference between the two. So, also, I wanted to tell, like, just to differentiate between the non keratinized and the keratinized epithelia. The non keratinized epithelium are going to be in moist places like your esophagus and your mouth and places like that. Um, so you see that there's still cells on there. It doesn't, doesn't have any dead cells or anything. It's just completely smooth. Um, let's see if we can find a slide. Oh, there's one. Okay. This is the keratinized uh, squamous epithelium. And you can see on the, on the top that there is a layer of dead skin. And this is going to be like on your hands and your feet, on your arms, just anywhere you have skin. Um, that's your dead skin cells. And you can see that they don't have any nuclei anymore. Um, as they get to the top, their nuclei are lost. And, um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. So that's all I really wanted to say. Um, oh, wait. Talking 
Oh yeah, I want to talk about. <laughs> sorry, I want to talk about um, the difference between cartilage and bone. Now they both have a lacuna, but they have different cells inside of them, and so I just kind of wanted to um, show you guys a little bit about that. So let's see if I can find. I had a question about this in the email, so I just. Sorry, I just want to check something. <clears throat> okay. So here we have some hyaline cartilage. And you can see that there is a chondrocyte and a lacuna. Now there's a chondrocyte. Um, it's just an active cell of a cartilage. You can always tell what kind of cell is, um, what kind of tissue it is by the cell. If it's a chondra something, then it's cartilage. If it's osteo, then it's bone, and etc. Um, now there's the osteoblast, and when it matures into an osteocyte, it automatically gets that lacuna. And then it turns into an osteoclast, and it eats it up. But um, So there's a lacuna for a chondrocyte, and a lacuna is just a, an empty like shell that the chondrocyte can live in. Um, so just on your quiz, on your tests, just realize that when it's pointing at one thing and then pointing at the same thing and asking for a different name, it can often be a lacuna and a chondrocyte. Um, so this is hyaline cartilage. And one thing that you can tell that this is hyaline cartilage is that the matrix that the chondrocytes are in, lacuna are in, is completely clear. It looks kind of glassy. It looks really like like a form of ancient pottery kind of. Um, and that's the major difference between that and like elastic cartilage and um, things like that. So now I wanted to look at um, some osteo osteons. Um, there's one. Now see, you, you, here you see an osteocyte, and it's in a lacuna as well. Kind of the same thing as the cartilage. The osteoblast turns into the osteocyte and leaves that lacuna. And then it'll eventually turn into an osteoclast and it'll break down that bone. But you can see the lacuna and the osteocyte here. And we got the concentric lamella and the interstitial lamella, and the canaliculi, and um, that's pretty much it.